What's up guys, welcome back on Akio Codex. So today it's actually Saturday, which is a weekend. So I'm very sorry for delaying this video. So we're going to be talking about a topic that I'm receiving comment a lot on how you can actually play Free Fire, Berk Live, Berk Mobile on your Android emulator on your PC. I'm going to be looking at a particular aspect of this question, which is using it on low-end PC because not everybody has the means to get and afford a high-end PC that can actually play these games on their Android emulator. So, first of all, I'm going to suggest you that the best Android emulator to use for your low-end PC, which is also equal for high-end PC to play Berk Light, Berk Mobile, Free Fire, is going to be Nox Player. So, Nox Player is an Android emulator actually found on the internet. So, I'm going to provide the download link to get Nox Player, the latest version. So, with Nox Player, I actually free to switches on a high PC if you are in a low end PC so when a low end PC at this point I'm going to be talking about a PC that actually has at least 2 GB of RAM as hard disk space of 80 GB so it must not be free of 80 GB so you just have let us see you just have at least 10 GB free on your PC in order to install Nox and please if your processor does not support VT which is virtualization please don't get angry you are still going to be able to use this emulator so for at my own case you can see i'm using a pretty old processor which is a alon x4 and actually it is enabled so please but in your own case if this is not enabled please or if your processor does not support it don't freak out and if you're using a high-end pc so welcome to the emulator and to enjoy it but please that is not the subject of the video so i'm actually talking on the low end aspect so as i said earlier after downloading your nox player which is the best in later i will recommend you to use it on your pc so you are going to be now looking how you can set it up in order to play this game if you're using a low-end pc so i had many questions on this so please after downloading nox just open your nox player so nox player please go on the setting which is actually going to suit your preference so for example so here's a general setting of nox player which is actually very easy yeah, there's nothing you actually need to touch but what i'm really interested is at the performance setting and the game setting so first of all looking at the performance setting so you can see i'm actually set up at high so please don't freak out this is because i told you guys that if you are using a potato pc your ram should be at least so you can see nox player actually support also a one gig and a one core pc so please don't freak out you can see nox player is very good for a low end pc so if your processor is one core which can be a core duo please use nox player and you will have the best experience ever now i'm talking about the aspect of the graphic card on my own case i'm using a pretty high graphic card but that does not matter but if you have a graphic card let us say of at least i repeat of at least 32 megabyte or 64 you can be an intel hd or an amd with the young graphic card so you can see me i'm using better gtx 970 with 4 gigabyte of dedicated and please so if you are using this graphic card that i just cited a go which is the intel hd or the amd where they're young which actually if it has 32 megabytes of dedicated graphic card 64 128 but 128 will be the best for this but if you are less please don't figure you, you are still going to be able to use it just that the performance is going to vary a little bit and now talking on the two graphic mode we have here we have the enhanced compatibility gl plus with the basic direct x so if you are using this graphic card that you said the low you i would love you to switch on this mode but the disadvantage of this mode is that if you actually read it you say if fails to run with compatible mode you can try to switch to the speed mode so you can see with this mode you are actually free to run your games in a very good compatibility mode which actually makes it to run easier and more smooth on your pc but the best option at this stage is the enhanced compatibility mode with OpenGL. So OpenGL is actually the, the, the very fast, it is the fast way to actually render graphics in terms of Android emulator. So that is the best way to run. So if your graphic card on your low-end PC support the OpenGL, please you should actually use the OpenGL. That would be the best for you. So, so as I said earlier, my graphic card is a GTE, so it actually already supported by default. So, but on your own case, if you have this, please switch to the basic mode. And if you support the OpenGL, just enhance the compatibility mode with OpenGL. 
Now let us go back to the next page which is the game setting. Oops, I actually forgot something before starting the video. So please, if it's your first time on this channel, click on the subscribe button and I will be grateful for you if you can actually deposit some of your question that we should analyze in our next video. So a brief history on my next video, I think I'm going to be talking about how to some of the top the read emulators that you can use for your PC actually in the year 2000 so in the mid so actually already at the level of already past its first six months of the year so if you are on this one I'm going to talk about the top TV that you should use on your low end and high end PC to actually have the best gaming experience on Android using your PC so get back to our subject matter so now we are on the game setting game setting you can see it's very actually easy the first step is that you're going to see that you're going to see a frame setting bar so the frame setting bar you can actually see is set on 60 fps by t4 because 60 is actually the very best cool way of playing your games but on our subject we are talking about the low end pc so on the low end pc i would recommend you to switch on 30 so if you switch on 30 30 is actually the middle age in which you can play games but you can see if you can see you have 120 recommended for pc of high end so if you are pc of a high end you are free to switch it to 120 so you can see yes please disable the function if lag games that error so you can see they only give you an awareness that if you are graphic card if you actually start playing these games and you start to see that there are some lagging on the game some stalking some not responding so please disable it back to the so in my own case i can leave it since i'm using a high end pc and a good gpu so on your own case and you have the 64 gamer user recommendation so gamer user recommendation on this fact actually talking about the fact that if you are using a pc let us say so a middle hpc for this nox player will be a pc that is running at, at least 512 megabytes of ram of gpu and it should be at least here can be ddr3 no problem and now on the 20 fbs which is recommended for few games on low end pc so but you can actually add this 20 frame rate to 30 to actually have the best experience so i'll show you guys if you move to 30 with your low end pc you are going to have no problem with nox player so once these two settings are done please get free to save the setting and you launch your nox player and you're going to see what is going to happen now take a little look at the setting why nox player is actually the best to use on your low end pc so for example if you have a high disk space you're going to really have a good advantage with nox player so you can see Nox player offers you up to 64 GB of your of your um, of your PC to use up as a internal GB of your Android emulator. So on the RAM aspect, if you have a 2 GB RAM, it's going to take at least depending on the setting that you choose. Because I showed you guys earlier that if you want to set it up, you can see general setting. You are free to switch to the low. So you can see the low is actually at one core with one GB of RAM, and the high is actually at three GB of RAM with two cores CPU. I, you are also free to custom it at your own please so as you can see if you move now to the apps to actually see the rams the, go to the running application so you can just make a, a simple addition so you can see here at this level we have a 2.6 2 gb of ram free plus these two app systems so a total of 3 gb so 3 gb this is because my ram is actually i'm actually using a ram of 8 gb so you can see my memory is totally total is 8 so i'm using a ram of 8 gb on one slot so that is it i wish you guys are going to enjoy this so with this all done you are free to move on to your move to play store and on play store please just download your free fire your pop light your any game you actually love streaming on your mobile device you to get on it on your pc and with it so i think this was very helpful and please you actually move on to apps not app center you got there are also very cool apps there so yeah just use the search bar so sorry for now that data connection to actually show you guys but everybody here everybody i think everybody here actually knows how to download so it's not something i have to teach you guys so just search the game you actually want to get it on your android monitor and install and download and you're going to have the best experience using not player on your on your low end pc so please if you face if you are faced with any problem remember that i'm free on the comment section so just comment your problem and i'm going to respond to you so i actually love 
discussing with my community so that's what actually was so if you notice i don't i'm not the kind of when you leave a comment i don't reply so please make an effort if you face an error comment it on the comment section it can actually be a solution to someone else facing another problem so happy viewing hope this will be helpful for you guys see you next on the video on my next tutorial and please hit on that subscribe button and like if you actually love this video have a nice weekend bye see you